here with Haddock Race. We're at BST, a lovely sunny day. I'd like to praise you if I could, oh, and I will. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, yes. how's it been for you so far? It's been amazing. I mean, what a beautiful day for start. Um, so many people came to see me, which was amazing. So I was on pretty early, but it was really, really fun set. Yeah, nothing to complain about. Just a lush day. What are your thoughts about the headline? There's, there's Barbara, Barbara someone playing. Yeah. yeah, well, when I was coming in, I could hear her sound check, and um, that was pretty amazing. Um, it was a bit of a surreal moment when like, the actual real life Barbara Streisand. Was she one of the influential voices in your head when you were starting out? I know you liked Aretha and Stevie yeah. Nicks. She, Barbara's just one of those icons. She doesn't even seem like a real person. You know, when you think about her, like, she's just she's just like one of those queen people that can just do everything, has been around forever. Like, yeah, definitely. Just yeah. amazing. So from your early days in Wales, coming over here, <laughs> could you ever imagine to be? Yeah, doing so this? it is. It is one of those moments where you're like, oh, this is funny. I'm playing Hyde Park um, in London, which is it's yeah, it's definitely really cool. Um, very excited to be here all the way from Wales. Very and more importantly, we'd like to know what happens next after this. After the people hearing the. The, the latest music you're doing. You had a VP called Benji Main out fairly recently. Yeah. Is that leading into some more music? Yeah, have? so the main focus from the last two years has been writing my album. I've recorded half of it already. Um, and the Benji Main EP was kind of like a bit of just something to put out because I hadn't released music in a while. I wanted yeah. to play some shows. So I put that out in April, but the main focus has been the album. So. Like I said, I've recorded like five or six songs already. I've got all the all the data in to record the rest, and it's, it's very, very exciting. It's fun to kind of be finished writing yeah. and getting to go in the studio and, and properly record all my favourite songs. So hopefully that'll be out late this year, next year, you know, whenever it's ready. Here's a tricky one. How would you describe your music to someone maybe hasn't heard what you've done before? Or may have heard Praise You, but nothing recently. Yeah. Um, Praise is actually quite a good example, really. It's very like gospel y pop, lots of jazz influences. The EP was a little bit more folky. You know, you mentioned Aretha. It's kind of like Aretha, Stevie Nicks, Eva Cassidy, all the mixing into one. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the vibe. And live shows, I know that you were going to be supporting uh, Jess Glynn, but uh, due to her, uh, her, her health. Uh, yeah. Issues you have with a, a I know, it's so sad. Well, there was two shows, so I'm still supposed to be doing one in Swansea with her, and um, that's supposed to be sold on her at the moment. So fingers crossed, she'll be she'll be well to do that. So that's at uh, the end of July in Swansea. So really close to my my home. So it'll be fun. All my all my family will come along. Um, so yeah, hopefully hopefully that will go ahead. But yeah, that's kind of it really. I'm playing Boardmasters as well, so a couple of festivals. But um, other than that, it's just for, in the studio, to be honest. And so you've got a rough idea of when the album might be, be ready to go? Um, I'm going to be safe and say next year. Uh, the main bulk of the recording is happening in September, so I guess we'll just see how that goes. Um, but I'm releasing, I'll be releasing singles in the meantime, so singles from the album will be out before Christmas, but the whole entirety of it might, might be next year. And writing, is that, is that all self-written? You, you, you um, leading on people like Gabrielle that uh, worked with you originally? Um, there isn't actually any songs on, on the album that I've written with Gabrielle. I have written a lot with her, but it's mainly uh, myself and a couple of my friends. I have this friend called Jessica Sharman, I write with a lot. This guy called Martin O'Brien, who actually plays keys for me. Um, yeah, there's lots of different people. I, I really like collaborating with my friends. I feel like I, it's a really nice environment. I can write what I really want to write. So it's a lot of collaborations with people I really love working with. So final question, this is one I've been dying to ask you. There's a movie out called Possession of Hannah Grace. Oh, of course, yes, I've heard this. Is this like a part of your, your dark past? I wish it out? was, you know, I wish it was. I wish I could claim claim part of that movie because it's um, been around a lot and lots of people have asked me about it. But um, I have no connection to the movie at all. I don't even have a song in it, which would have been cool. <laughs> I don't even appear in it. It's just a, just a coincidence, yeah. But, you know, maybe I should watch it and see, see what it all looks for anyone that wants a possession of you have the EP out? I have the EP out, I'm on Spotify, I'm on all the things so you can find and buy whatever you'd like. Yes. So in the meantime we'll do that and we'll look forward to the oh, album as and when it comes out. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking to you. Oh you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>